Continuing to learn brand new information here at Harborview Medical Center where two victims are here tonight and we have confirmed with family members that both of the victims here at Harborview are related to the shooter Jalen Freiburg. Now one of the victims, 15 year old Andrew Freiburg, is inside in critical condition with a head injury and another victim, 14 year old Nate Hatch, is inside after he was shot in the jaw today. And just minutes ago I sat down with Don Hatch. That is the grandfather to Nate Hatch. And he told me about his friendship, his grandson's friendship rather, with the shooter. And he also told me what he told his grandson as he sat and prayed by his bedside minutes ago. I looked at uh, my grandson and I think about it and I talked about it and when we had prayers in the room with him that uh, the, uh, the injuries is going to be the easiest one to heal. It's going to be his friend that died and the ones that got shot and why it happened. The injury is going to heal, but not the after effects. That's where we have to come into play and do a good job with them. And it's a very uh, big family that's there to support them. We've watched here in the last couple of hours outside Harborview as dozens of family members have been here to the hospital to show their support for the two boys who are inside. And they all describe all of these victims and the shooter as athletic, academic, and, and wrestlers. They said that they were just going to start their wrestling season. Andrew, Nate, and Jalen, the shooter, were all going to start their wrestling season this year uh, in just a few weeks. But now this. And uh, tonight, two victims inside. I asked Don Hatch tonight, I said, you know, what could have led to this? And he said the only answer is that God really knows that answer.